We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Minnesota Twins and the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. The Angels enter the day with their winning streak at 10 games. They'll try to extend it next. Settling in now, Mitch Guriel, and we are set Leading for baseball tonight, here this evening. The third baseman. Number four. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Underway now on a Friday night as the first pitch of our series misses for ball one. So, fellas, this Angels team entering play here tonight. All you can really say is they've been on one heck of a run. Maddie, this is the best team in baseball right now. I, I mean, just a double-digit winning streak. I mean, maybe happens to two or three teams a year you get this high. This team is rocking in all facets right now. At the plate, Gerald true. Hayden. And he's the reigning American Gerald. League Player of the Month. Hayden. He's set. Here it comes. Bounced that one, but got oh, him to won. go after it for a strike. And, guys, as we take a look at the Twins at the start of play here tonight, they've had it going the last 10 games. They're 7-3 and three over that stretch, including a win last time out. Yeah, Maddie, this is a classic case of hitting is contagious. They scored a bunch of runs last game, and this team is flying high right now. This is a on, and he connects with it. Here. This one's hit deep out to left center field. And that one is gone! It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. Number 25 for him on the year. And the Angels have taken a 3 to nothing lead. Well, Dero, you know, they say records are made to be broken. And what a monster year this guy's had. Yeah, there it is, Dan. Most RBIs in one season. I can't begin to tell you as a former offensive player what that means. Ready to number take his hacks again. Two. Gerald Hayden Gerald. as he'll look to follow up Hayden. the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. Yeah, and his last at bat, he hit a changeup out for a home run. So it'll be interesting this A.B. to see if they give him a, a swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. But that'll hit off the wall in left center. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. And this throw gets away from him. So a good job of going the other way here as he checks in with the one-out double. And as we take a look at the Angels team leaderboard, you see there he's currently leading the ball club in that category. So here's the cleanup hitter, Up Ray the Fernandez. Angels. The right fielder, right. Ray Fernandez. The 2-2 two -two is swung on and missed strike three. Really impressive pitching right there. Sometimes as a pitcher, you can get frustrated when you make now a good pitch and you don't get that call fielder. from the umpire. But it what works. does he do? He comes back with a good pitch yeah. and gets the strike. Now a little dribbler here off to the right side of the mound. And the off-balance oh. throw gets him as he takes away a hit and the side is retired. Angels strand one, but they hold a four to nothing lead. Leading off the inning, Alexis Cabrera, the and they'll need him the to get baseball. something going here. Alexis. Lots of baseball Cabrera. left in this one as we're still early on, but you don't want to fall too far behind. They're already down by a bundle, and one of the things you want your leadoff guy to get on the table for the big boys to start driving in some runs. But this is right at him in right field as he hardly has to move to take it in for the first out. Good time now to check out the Angels road to the show report as you see a couple of guys in the upper levels of the minors that have been making waves of late. The plate, plate now, Gerald two. Hayden. Gerald. Back up the middle. Hayden. And that'll get on through into center, and he's got himself a one-out hit. 
Dan, with that single, he's now three quarters of the way to hitting for the cycle. Toughest one still on the shelf, though. He's got to get a triple. Yeah, that's your set it, Dero. That's one of those that's either got to hit right down the line or one of those tweeners in the gap. He has enough speed, so if he can find a gap or find one down the line, maybe he can do it, and he's going to at least get one more at bat in this one. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Faust is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Digging in to try it again, Edwin Young. He was a ground out victim last time up. He's set, and the 2 1 pitch. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Kuvako is there, makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Angels leave one as they're unable to add to their 5 0 lead. Digging in the switch hitter, Mitch Guriel. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. Play is in order. Anything on the ground, the way this defense is, they could certainly roll too. Throw on to first, two gone. Ready for another chance? Gerald first Hayden. Baseman. He singled his Gerald. last time up. Hayden. Oh, hey, see you guys. Here comes the first pitch. Starts him with a good rising ball, fastball there for strike one. Hey, this is a left-handed hitter that can fly down the line. If they want to turn two, they're going to have to be almost perfect. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. And another foul ball. Well, I think after that foul away, this pitcher can go almost anywhere he wants. That pitch was way off the plate and off speed. I'm surprised he even offered it that one. One ball and two strikes to count. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. Get up, get up, get out of here, gone. Two run shot to straight away center, his second of the game, as it's now a six run ball game. round trippers from these guys so far. Dan, d -Row, what do you make of all this? Matty V, d -Row, I don't know what you think, but this is this. Well, I know you don't want to jinx it by talking about it, but this streak now, it's up to 11 games. When you're playing this well, you think the good times are going to last forever. But in baseball, trust me, this game has a way of humbling you. They should enjoy this ride, though, while it lasts. 7-1, the final score in tonight's. The Halos jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Julian Lugo earns win number seven on the season, permitting only two hits in six complete innings. Murray Devino couldn't escape the fourth inning as he slapped with the loss. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark Rosa, Dan Kuzak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us.